Listen, I wanted to sound the alarm right now. In 2 Chronicles 7.14, it says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I'll be able to forgive their sins and heal their land. So if we want a healing to come to our land, it's all about God's people who are called by his name. And if we're called by his name, that means we don't take anybody else's name. We have too many Christians right now who are adding to the disunity. They're adding to the dysfunction in our culture because they're choosing sides. They're saying, I'm a Republican. I'm a Democrat. And they always want to know, hey, who is the Evans family endorsing? Who is the Evans family voting for? And we're not giving anybody the satisfaction of knowing that we're on their team or a dissatisfaction of people thinking we're not on their team. We're not joining anybody's team. We're kingdom independence. We represent the kingdom of God. So when I go into the voting booth, I vote as a kingdom independent. When I leave the voting booth, I just voted as a kingdom independent. And I know you're thinking, Jonathan, you have to vote for somebody. I do have to vote for somebody, but I don't have to give my allegiance to any one person. I give my allegiance to the king. And every Christian should be giving their allegiance to the king. So you'll never see me, I'm sorry, with a Trump or Pence sign in my yard. You'll never see me with a Biden or Kamala Harris sign in my yard. I'm not hating on what you're doing, but as for me and my house, the only sign you'll see in my yard is that we will serve the Lord. Because Jesus prayed in John chapter 17, I pray that they will be one as we are one. And how can we ever be one as the church of Jesus Christ if we're more committed to our political party than we are our heavenly king? Jesus says all authority has been given to me both in heaven and on earth so why in the world if he has all authority would I give my allegiance to something that it doesn't have the authority of my father we must not know who our daddy is he said in Matthew 16 I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it he did not say I will build my government and the gates of hell will not prevail against it that means the opponent of hell is the church and until we decide to only align with Jesus Christ even if our boat goes in different directions we come out of the booth thinking about the kingdom of God. We all believe that we're pro-life. We all believe that we believe in family. We all believe in justice. We all believe in equality. We all believe in, in dignity. We all believe in love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So why do I have to worry about and everybody thinking about what side we're choosing instead of just aligning with the kingdom of God and uniting with that? It reminds me of Joshua chapter 5. When the angel of the Lord came and Joshua, he said, whose side are you on? Joshua wanted to know whose side are you on? You would have thought he would have said, Joshua, you're the man of God. I'm on your side. That's not what he said. He said, I'm not on your side. Neither am I on their side. I'm the captain of the Lord's army. In other words, he came not to take sides. He came to take over. And until Christians realize government is supposed to have to deal with us, it's not us waiting to figure out how we're going to deal with the government. I know you have to vote one way or the other. I know I have to vote one way or the other. But when are we going to answer Jesus's prayer? Let them be one as we are one. And I know many Christians have taken sides on the field instead of being the referees that God has put in histories to govern the entire game. All you have to do is look at the comments. All you have to do is look at the hate. And then when you go look at their profile, you see immediately that they're a Christian who loves Jesus Christ. We have that contradiction because they've joined teams on the field instead of the aligning themselves with one king. I want to make sure you know God does not ride the back of donkeys or elephants. He is the king of all kings, lord of all lord, president of all presidents, governor of all governor, mayors of all mayors. So if you want to know who the Evans family is voting for and whom I'm voting for, let me go ahead and settle this for you once and for all right now. I'm voting for the candidate that's already won, Jesus. I'm Jonathan Evans and I approve this message. I agree. 